Hey guys, welcome back. Stop Talk and Roll, episode 197, your number one show for jujitsu jiu jitsu analysis on YouTube. Today, I have a guest, Juliet. Second, Hello. Second time on the show. Uh, she's a, a white belt, and she asks good questions. So, white belt questions. Um, today, we have myself and Dan Roland in the no geese. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to pass his guard right now. Um, I, I, I'm always talking about how I'm making sure that the opponent's knees are facing away from me so this is me imploring that passing around to the opposite side making it very difficult for dan to recover guard um locking him up in a body lock feel free to jump in whenever um i'm getting a little closer now and yeah so have him in a tight body lock right now i'm taking my time coming up to the pass because i don't have his head control and if i were to just jump up and go over like so uh dan can stiff arm me so i don't know why i just did that i'm an idiot why did i just do that I'm literally like, don't, I'm saying like, don't do this. And then I do it. Oh, I didn't, Dan just, I got loose and Dan capitalized on it. So I was looking up, coming through his head. Look, he stiff arms. That's really good, Dan. Creates space and keeps me off. Guys, let me know if the volume doesn't work that well. Um, I, I'm trying my best here. I don't have two mics yet. We'll get one one day. We'll get a setup, but I don't have it. Any questions so far? Okay uh, well, I noticed that your knees went up in the air. Is that because he pushed you, or were you intentionally Where? not putting weight down on the ground? There was, I don't know. Where... My knees or his knees? Yeah, you flew up. When he turned. Yeah, I'm going to let play. There? Yep. Um, I'm. It's not that my knees are going up in the air. I'm keeping my hip glued to his hip. So, like... I don't need my legs to do anything right now except for be heavy. So I'm just I'm 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 actually extending this to counterbalance my weight so I can stay on this side. I don't want him to push me this way. So I'm extending my legs to basically distribute my weight further and further away from his body on this side to make it harder and harder for him to push me. Um but great question. And then I settle back down because I don't want to move. But Dan's able to escape his leg out, but I immediately shelf his knee. So what that means is I get it in front of two legs. And now I look to body lock pass, which is where I'm going to bring this knee in front of his leg. And then I'm going to bring that knee over as well. But just one thing at a time. So. Yep. So I'm able to cut the, the knee through and get the other knee through. So I get past his hips now. And now because I have control of his head and because I have control of his shoulders, I can sit up a little bit and start looking to attack from the top. Shin mount because his elbow's high. Guys, I'm always preaching that. Look, I have him in, it's kind of hard to see, but I have him almost in a head and arm choke, um, or at least in that position where his, el his elbow's really high. So that allows me to get to mount very easily. And right now, I my goal is to, well, now now it's to get that back. Yeah, to see, the second his, his elbow's able to drift down towards his leg, he can start looking to escape. And look at the different mounts I'm using, guys. I, I'm, I'm putting a hook in on the bottom so he can't just bump me off. And he can't just escape his knee. Like, he can't escape his leg out because my my leg's in the way. And why are you going underneath his head like that so he doesn't turn into you or away from you? Um, a cross face. So I'm forcing him. Let's back up. Let's see. There's context. Because I know you said something during this week about having someone, like, not turn into you and away from you. That's the that's from the back. Um, I'm a, I actually want him to turn away from me because it exposes his back. Um, so this also, what this does as well is it double, well, okay. I'm doing a couple things. I'm trying to feed my hand here. So this is, this is not something I've taught you yet. Um, you wouldn't like this, <laughs> but does it hurt? Yes. Okay. <laughs> One of the most painful things. Uh, I'm putting them into a, it's a half Nelson. So what that is, is like, here, I'll, I'll just do it to you. Um, <laughs> It's, I come behind, I, I, this one I'm going behind the head, but if I go behind the arm, actually, hold on, it's kind of weird to do this, but basically, let me get, let me get, so I'm behind the head, and then behind the heart, and you see how I can, like, force yeah. your head that way? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm doing here, so what I'm going to look to do is bring his elbow, I, I don't think I'm successful with this, this, on this attempt, um, but I bring his elbow up here, and then I straighten my, like, my elbow into the back of his head and drive his head down um, and that all exposes back so that's that's what I'm looking for there um, so it's a half Nelson and then forcing him over excellent question I didn't even realize I was doing that 
I just kind of like do stuff. I mean, I have, I have intention, but I, I, I forgot that I was trying to do that. So right now he's getting me set up for a kipping escape. So I'm staying nice and low um, and looking to peel that elbow out. Jeff, what's happening with the film here? <laughs> I, I appreciate everyone that films. It gets a little crazy with the gimbal if they're not used to it. All right, so driving my hand right into his neck to expose the arm, come underneath again. So this is, I'm, I'm just tr bugging his neck to, to force him to move, right? So I can't get his elbows out, so I start going for a smother. He does a good job defending, got me in the kip again, looking to defend the, or looking to, to strip the arms away from my hip, going for cross grips. So when he when he goes to buck me off like that, I immediately throw in grape vines. So as he goes to bump. What's grape, a grape vine? Right here, that. So so you you throw, let's see if I can get it. Basically that. I don't know what's going on with the footage here. Sorry. This is, this is one of my videos. I don't know why I did that. I, I don't have like a good, basically you lace through and you, you hook the foot behind his shin here. So I know it's kind of hard to see here. It's not the best angle. Um, but you do that and you drive your hips into their hips. Um, so basically, he was trying to bump me forward, but generally if they pick a side, like if he's gonna try to bump me this way, I'm gonna grapevine on this leg, all right? And if he's gonna bump me this way, I'm gonna grapevine on this leg, okay? It just depends on, on which way he's gonna go. He, he kind of went straight back, so I was just, I was doing both legs and kind of modifying as he made little micro adjustments um, either direction. So now I'm looking for a Dars, which is a headlock. Um, he's doing a good job defending. I'm considering going in there, so that's another option. It's like another similar thing to the power ride system I was talking about before with the half Nelson. Um, yeah, so I get my arms through, and I drive my hand through for a Dars. So we get it through. Right now I'm just using this as control, get my other hand through. And he wants to get his arm out here, so I'm being very diligent to stay behind. And I, yeah, I'm able to get behind the arm and get the finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those mirrors. Yeah. Train hard. All right, so look, I got him in a Darce again, actually. Look at that, right back into a Darce. Is that a bald spot? Am I getting bald? Am I going bald? No. What is that? That's just... Just being sweaty? Yeah. Tell me if I'm going bald. I'll just shave it. I will. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm looking for a Peruvian necktie? Anaconda joke? Why are you on your head? Uh, because I'm trying to trap his elbow um and i'm using i'm going inverted to stay on top of him yeah so this is this is a peruvian necktie i believe or an anaconda choke i so i'm, I'm struggling right here there's a the timer out this is i've hit this choke like maybe like three times in my life and all three times have been the last like month um because I, I, i've always been terrible at it but basically i need to get this hand out further so I can get it into my bicep. And right now it's like this, it's way too shallow for me to get anything meaningful. So I'm working at punching that through. Like you see, it's way too shallow. Mm -hmm. um, and being and his a, neck's right underneath the other arm? Basically. Yeah, his yeah, his head's, his head's like right here. Is your intent to like? Choke him. Yeah, but like, are you, what are you, like, you know how sometimes like you're focusing on certain movements where it's like you're pushing your shoulder yeah. into your neck? Well, so right now, I'm not trying to choke him at all. I'm trying to just establish position. Um, and granted, this is like one of my worst. I, I've, I, this is one of my worst submissions that I haven't put a lot of time into. Um, I have submissions that I'm really bad at that I've put a lot of time into and I'm just bad. But this is this is just one I haven't put a lot of time into. Um, but I've been putting more time into it recently. Like I, I, I especially with the Dars, because they, they're kind of like sister moves. So like here, I'm trying to get the choke in and I need to stay above the elbow, and so we can't get the elbow out. So that's like that's why I invert there. Um, and then here, it looks like I switch it up. Uh, maybe I was doing a Dars before, I don't know. Sorry guys. Um, 
just these are just these are just names like it's not like i don't know what i'm doing i like I, i'm switching and i just don't know the names for it and he's and the time runs out oh no don't restart this had a bunch of rounds on it um so yeah pretty quick good game <laughs> any questions no i think i asked him yeah all right I love guys your if you this one like spider-man yeah that's uh that's my origin gear i got that when i got my black belt i ordered all that stuff yeah thank you yeah i was like i was like i want to get something nice and uh, i went to origin origin looks great i'm not sponsored but if you want to feel free okay um thank you guys for watching um if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it mean, mean a lot to me um drop a like ring that notification bell i get these episodes out every morning 8 a.m eastern standard time monday through saturday and if you want to be on the show check out the description below and uh i'd love to have you on here and uh yeah thanks juliet thanks guys ciao okay bye <laughs>